guys, and welcome back to another Arnie 101 video. So here again we are playing the Haven of Umbar, and this is part 25. So I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves, and of course we have got this battle which we need to face. Um, of course, Dalarmov is attacking us. They have a trebuchet and quite a lot of um, lances and some knights there. So let's jump into this and see how well we can do. So I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves and having a good day and everything like that. I'm having a good day as you guys can tell. I'm like really really hyper. Um, yeah, we'll probably die out like in a few minutes or something like that. But um, yeah, I'm enjoying myself. Um, I do want to say that I am sorry about the fact that my uploading schedule is really really um, really really screwed up currently. Um, yeah, it's just because I need a bit of time if you guys get me. Um, but, yeah, anyways, um, we'll grab all of our archers together, screw them all together. I want you guys to not be in skirmish mode, and I want you guys, you, 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 all my spearmen into a nice line, yep, and then we'll get these guys on this side here yep. and then we'll get these guys on this side yep no wait that's that's all good you guys are supposed to be in group five um and we'll get group group five get your butt over there all right let's do this so let's push up with our troops, um, we really need to get into range, um, just because of the fact that I don't want my troops to die, um, which they will because they got a massive trebuchet right there which will of course kind of make it a bit awkward, um, we'll get these guys up here, uh, we'll go like that, yep. And we'll get these guys up across here. Alrighty. So we are marching forward now. They look like they are trying to move the trebuchets back. And they've positioned themselves quite nicely. So what we're going to do is... No, let's actually move you guys up. Uh, no. God. I don't like it when they fire the trebuchets. Ah. Uh, uh. That just does not look good. Um, we'll get you guys up here. Okay, they got Cav on one flank, Cav on another. Ooh. And they're charging in to my men now. So we're going to get these guys in to a line. We're going to swing these guys around now. Move. And I want you guys to actually reinforce this line here. Well, you guys can reinforce that. You guys reinforce that. I would like you guys actually to run over there. Move, boys. Come on, boys. Hold the line. Whoa. We're really failing on one side. Let's get our men in there. Come on, boys. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. They're really... Ugh. Okay. Come on, boys. 
Continue charging against them. The enemy general abandons his and they are routing currently which is brilliant we get these guys to jump in there we're gonna get this general bodyguard in I want you guys to actually get involved in there please Continue charging, um, you guys however I'd like you guys to form up another line over there and I'd like you guys to form up a line over here now. Archers continue firing on them please. General bodyguards are in the fray here fighting against these men here. Our general bodyguard are doing quite well. Come on boys, charge in. <coughs> Deal with the buggers. Go work. So they are holding quite well. Um, we get these guys to move up now. And their lances are fleeing now, so we're going to continue firing against them. I want you guys to run after them, please. Continue fighting against them. They are routing now, however. So we're going to end the battle there guys, but yes that was a very clear vit victory, anyways, uh, <laughs> a clear victory, um, which we did quite well at, um, and we just need to wait now for our troops to move up, they should be here in one turn, um, and hopefully we'll be able to land them. We're going to execute them all, don't really want to keep them or let them live. We're going to retrain our troops, seeing that we can only retrain them um, in this particular area. Yes, Move this guy down here. Oop, space to make him go faster. No like and there's that army that um, was what well, we were allied with. They look like they got beaten. That's fine. Um, we'll skip down here. As you guys can see, they are looking at trying to, um, potentially fighting with us. Oh, yeah, they will be fighting with us soon. Delamov will be attacking us, but we will end the turn currently. So, yeah, um, I hope you guys are having a good day. As you guys can see, um, Delamov is, of course, trying to, um, group some armies together to hopefully take us out. But we should be able to take them and hold them back. We have, of course, one army that is currently in that settlement, Londgalin. Yeah, Londgalin. And we do have another army that should be landing in that territory as well. And so hopefully with that army we should be able to push up. And hopefully put some more... Um, some put some more pressure on Dalamov, and also we do want to put some more pressure on Gondor, of course. But uh, that will, of course, have to wait a bit to do. We still have one settlement that we need to take, um, which I'll. Well, I thought that our allies would take it, but I guess they didn't. Um, so what we may do is split up our armies, um, and then slowly kind of move them towards those locations. One army can go up to, well, the 
northwest, and then the other army can just go east, um, and slowly we should be able to batter them quite a bit. Now I do want to of course make another army up um, so that we can attack them from the south, uh, which would put a lot of pressure on Dal Armoff, but at the moment I'm not really currently worried about Dal Armoff too much. Um, we're able to hold their forces currently. It's really more we need to expand in Gondor's territory and hopefully deal with Gondor whenever we meet them. But yes, we will have to see. Come on, Mordor. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. So unfortunately we haven't really seen much in this campaign um, with the other AI factions. They've really, of course, not been too aggressive. They've kind of sat back and... Ooh, you want to get married? Yep, you can get married, my good friend. Um, mission failed, of course. New family member? Ooh, that marriage really... Yeah, that, that didn't last long. <laughs> um, anyways, let's see, um, okay, I guess we'll get these guys to come over here, and we'll chuck them on the boat as soon as possible. You, however, we need to get you two groups there, what are you? You're just a war boat, well, I'll disband you, don't really need you. Alright. And we have our army that should be landing here. Brilliant. And we'll move these guys back down to our shores to get more reinforcements. Okay. So we are holding here currently. Uh, we're going to retrain some more troops. So that should be all of those troops retrained except for the special kind of larger sets of troops. We'll stick up a watchtower there. Marriage celebrations. Relationships are good, very good. Yeah. Okay. So there's not really much that we can do. Um, currently, we just really need to wait it out. But um, within the next couple of turns, we should be able to start bashing Del Arm off a bit more. They only have a couple of forces here and there. This settlement is very... Well, it's not very defended that well. But yes, we do have quite a few troops. We are going to, of course, take one general in this army. So we need to figure out who do we take out. Um, we've got two pairs of pikemen, a couple of them. One, two, three, four. Uh, okay. An order. We'll get you. No, wait. Yes. No. Okay, fine. We'll do it next turn. Alright, we'll wait in turn, guys. And we will see what happens. And Dalarmov moves closer to us, which means that we should have another battle on our hands, hopefully, which will be quite cool. We'll be able to push back another Dalarmov army and then slowly move up with our major army 
Now I do want to move um, most of the forces towards the northwest to take out that Gondor um, settlement that is currently active. Um, if we are able to push them out completely then that will be quite good. Um, and I think that's really all we need to do. I think so. And then I think that we just need to continue pushing up and raiding and the normal. So we take out that settlement, then that means we hold the whole west of Gondor, which is quite good. Then we just need to really focus on attacking Gondor and the other settlements and of course attacking Dalarmov. But of course Dalarmov is going to be a pain in the butt because of the fact that they don't really... They're not really fighting with anyone, they're just fighting with us. <laughs> and Gondor, I mean sorry, yeah Gondor however um, is fighting with Harad and of course Mordor. So that means that it is a little bit easier for us to attack them plus the fact that their troops aren't actually currently on the side of the world. Whoa, Harad's getting their forces up aren't they? Yeah, they are. That's a full stack right there. Nice work, guys. I hope you guys are actually putting them to use. I doubt it, but I hope. All I can do is hope. Eastlings of Ruin. We haven't really seen the Eastlings of Ruin yet, have we? No, just a couple of talks with them. The Skiliath under attack. Hornburg besieged. Whoa. Um, no, I don't want you. What's it? Oh, you want us to take the settlement. Okay, that's somewhat inevitable. Okay, so uh, let's yes, group. An order. We are going to get you, actually. Yes. And I think we'll swap you out for An you. Order. Yep. Into a force to be feared. Yes. Okay, so we'll attack this army. Um, we're going to auto-resolve it just because of the fact that we can just get rid of them quickly. And now we're going to continue up there. Now, with the rest of these troops, we're going to grab all the rest of our troops. These guys, you, 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 you. And you. Yep. And you're retraining 35 and... Oh wait, we can retrain these guys? Oh my god. Um... That's cool. Um... But that's besides the point. We need to continue. Yes, we do. We need to continue, so we are going to continue. We'll get all of these guys and start marching them up to here. And we will retrain these two groups. Relationship worsened, of course. Um, got a little bit of troops here now. Harad is not really doing much. Um, um, close that. Now, construction reports. Um, we do have this, um, let's see, caravan stop, no, stables, no, I don't really want camel riders, uh, we'll get the blacksmith, yep, we'll get the blacksmith there, that should be good enough, and what we do need to do is save up a bit of money so that we can actually start uh, making more, some more stuff in Umbaya itself. We have another group of troops. Here we do. The savages. Um, so we've got quite a fair group. What do we need? Um, wait a second. What do we need? Let me have a look. Okay, so we need a. We've got uh, two of them. I guess we need some more raiders. And definitely some more archers. Okay, so 
we'll go back over here and we'll get those two and we'll end turn again guys yes I know um it's quite boring the whole end turn phases but you kinda have to do them guys I'm sure you guys know whoa okay Dalamov is kind of got quite a largish force now um, so we're gonna definitely have to take out one army at a time and try and make sure that we're only engaging one army at a time so that we can crush one army and then continue to the next army and crush that next army and then we'll be able to just systematically destroy their troops that are in the north now we do need to of course um, definitely re-strengthen our area well our garrison troops and also the troops that we have in the west of Gondor so hopefully within the next couple of turns we'll be able to start recruiting troops um, in some of the settlements which will of course be brilliant and then we'll be able to actually have a bit of a base there and start pushing troops forward now I'm thinking yeah no I think we'll attack Delamov is our biggest issue, so if we take that sediment that we can currently see on the map, then their forces will consistently go and attack that uh, settlement. So if we strengthen it up with quite a lot of defensive troops, you know, not really attacking troops, but quite a lot of defensive troops, we should be able to hold it. And so that means Delamov will basically pour in all of their troops in that settlement, and then we can slowly build up another army to take them out hopefully yeah I think that's a good idea yeah maybe yeah I think that's a good idea uh, strategically quite a good idea we can at least devalue their forces quite a bit because they'll of course be attacking us in a settlement but we will have to take the settlement pre uh, before or we could put uh, we could actually build a fort couldn't we I don't know guys, we will just have to wait and see of course, uh, we might just build a fort and see what happens. Eastlings of Ruin, of course again. So yeah, um, I am sorry about the fact that I haven't really been putting up videos um, or recording that much. I know I've kind of just been in my own little world a little bit, um, which hasn't been too good. Um, so I'm trying to get back into it. So I hope you guys don't mind that much. Um, Airborne besiege, that's quite interesting. Uh, construction re report. Can't really do anything there because we don't have enough money. An order. Move! I've tried whipping them, but the men are spent. Be gone. So we have one force up there. Okay. Yes. So we'll continue moving Moving's up now. We'll with that force. Ugh, that's beautiful. We can actually construct stuff, guys. I mean, we can actually get these guys. Um. Yeah, we can actually get stuff now. So I'm gonna put them on financial. I'm gonna put them on high. Yeah, can't really do much there. Jokes. Uh, that's financial. That's very high. That's growth. I wonder if we can change it to financial. I'll be happy. Yep, that is um, growth. We'll see if that changes anything. Growth. Cultural, balance, financial, military, not. You're happy with growth. How about you? You gonna be happy, financial? Could retrain you soon? Ish? Um, let's see if we can put you on financial. Yep. So that hopefully will give us a little bit more money. Um, hopefully. And we hopefully will be able to continue and producing troops and of course continuing 
our war against Al Armov and Gondor. So I think the only thing that we can do is really end the turn and wait until we can go and attack this settlement. <clears throat> and then we will need to come up here and attack that settlement up the way up here. And that means that we should be then getting to the stage where we can attack these, um, or the Dal Armov soldiers that are here. So we'll end turn guys and see what happens. Yep, and they're creating a stack of an army, <laughs> which, um, that's fine. Of course, they will probably compress their forces. It just means that we will have to definitely fight that large group of forces, or we... No, oh, they're coming out to meet us. Yep. I dare you. Come out, boys. Come and play. So, that's two groups. Some smallish amount of troops in both of them and then they've got a largish larger army behind them so if we take out the two groups we can push them back quite substantially and then continue which will be definitely very good for us yeah we might actually do that we'll attack those two groups and then continue down and attack that large group so Captain Fialon, 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 yeah, we'll kill him and then go and besiege Itholand, Itholand, yeah, Itholand, yeah, you guys know I'm going to butcher all the names, just give me a break, <laughs> um, yeah, we'll attack Itholand and then see what happens from there, hopefully, um, we'll be able to destroy it and then just hold out there and send troops or more troops in, um, and of course, we don't really need to build up an army down in um, Umbar anymore because of the fact that we do have that settlement, which we just need to maintain quite nicely and make sure that the population's growing and, and everything like that. And hopefully, within a couple of turns, we'll be able to get some troops there, which will, of course, be very, very good for us. And we'll be able to continue and press on the attack against Al Armov and, of course, more... Uh, sorry... Gondor, yeah, Gondor, not Mordor, Gondor. So I was looking at the map and I was like, uh, Mordor, and I was like, yeah, Mordor, that I, that I, anyways. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying this um, campaign. Do remember leave a like, um, rating, and subscribe if you guys haven't. Um, hey, Harad, what are you guys doing? You guys aren't doing anything, are you? No. Okay, you're moving your troops up. That's 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 good. That's good. Good work, guys. Good work. You guys are finally doing something. You're moving troops up. No, I'm joking. They've done a little bit, but not that much. It seems like they are besieging Iskaliath currently, um, which isn't that bad. But I'm kind of surprised that Gondor. I mean, sorry, Mordor and. Uh, the Haradium tribes aren't able to do a little bit better. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see what's happening. Okay, so in turn, we've got around about two grand. Coming of age. Oh. That's cool, bud. Um, you can jump in there. So, we are creating another army. I don't know if... Uh, what do we need in this army? I think what we're going to do is actually get one of them, one of them, one of them, one of them. Wait, one of them. Yep. We'll get them. I know it's quite expensive, but hopefully... That should help us out. We can go no further. We'll keep our troops here. I will They've got quite a largest battle. group there. I wonder... No, we can't. Fine. Um, in that case, we will come up to here. An and we will continue moving we up. Them, 
We go no further today. They're slowly, yeah, we're slowly getting there. Um, I'm gonna actually put that down just so it's normal, so that the population can expand a bit more. But I will end this here, guys, and next time you guys will see this battle between these two groups. We'll have a look at them. So that and that. Whoa. Okay. Catapults. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I will catch you guys later. Remember, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I'll catch you guys. Bye, guys.